Hi, David Bean Cooley, TV Worth Watching. We're doing Best TV tomorrow. Best this week is relative because I'm doing a lot of talking about the conventions. Uh, this week it's the Republican, but I spent a lot of time last week talking about the Democrats, so it seems only fair. And in these pandemic times, this really is fascinating television, especially to compare and contrast not only the politics of the Republicans and the Democrats, but also the way they approach these distanced conventions. What I fear as a TV critic is that what people used to do not that many decades ago was people would watch both conventions. That's just what was done. There were three networks, they would put it on, people would watch because there wasn't anything else on, and then they would watch the other side and compare. I don't know if people are doing that. I'm watching both of them I don't know if you are, but if you are, uh, Melania Trump speaks tonight, but I want to just tell you that I remember four years ago, back when things were pre-COVID, but I was in the hospital. I was very sick four years ago. I was in there for about a month and did not die, just like right now I'm trying to not die, but back then... I was so close that they finally came up with an opioid that worked for me. Yes, four years ago I was on opioids. There are days now where I wish I still had some, but Dilaudid was the one that worked for me. And I was watching the first night of the Republican National Convention four years ago, and I had to call for the nurse because I was pretty sure that we had to take me off the dilated because I thought that Chachi was speaking at the Republican National Convention and that clearly my brain was gone. But no, it was Scott Bio. The nurse said, no, 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 your, your meds are fine and so is your brain. That's what's happening. Uh, and so I'm just gonna at least be clear headed enough that whatever I see tonight, tomorrow, the next day, I can't blame it on the drugs. But folks, our country right now is in, a, is in a very bad spot. You can feel it, and you can see it everywhere. There's no stability. Nothing seems right. And all the things that we hold dear are being attacked every single day. We cannot go down this road anymore. We need to stop.